Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by Amir. In this concept video or learning session, we are going to solve that 2016 DI problem. The chart is in front of you and the direction is in front of you. I would say please pause the video and read the directions. I hope you have read the directions. What is all about in this? This is the placement report of 100 students. So we can say that every year we have 100 students data. And the four lines we have that is the bottom to 25 salary, 26th position to median salary, higher than median salary to 75th position and top 25 salaries. First of all, understand what do we mean by median salary? Here we have 100 students data. So we have one first, second, third, till 50, then 51, dot, dot, 100. We have salary, someone is getting any salary. It is known the first salary is zero. And the final salary depends upon the values. Say, take example, in the 2018, the final value is 330 lakhs. So what do you mean by all graphs and the median and these values? First, we understand the median is the value when we arrange all the salaries in the ascending order or all the data in the ascending order, then the middle term is the median value. Median value is a value which shows the 50 percent people are below this number and the 50 persons are above this number. So this is our median. So we have a median salary. What do you mean by median salary? If both are the X and X, then the median is nothing but X. That is average. If the 50th person salary is X and the 51st person salary is Y, then the median is nothing but the average of these two. So median is a value which divides data into equal half. I hope this one is clear. What about these four values? We have bottom 25 salary. So we divide the data in 1 to 25, then 25 to median, then median to 75, then 75 to 100. That is bottom 25 salaries, first 25 salaries including the 0, 1, 26 salary to the median value then the median to 27th position's value, then 76 to 100. So what we have divided, we have divided the complete 100 salary graph in four equal parts and we termed is as a quartile. So median divides in two equal parts, that is the 50 percent part and these are nothing but the quartiles. Now we need to understand two things in the median salary bracket and the quartile. If I say we have 1, 2, 3 up 250th salary and the 51st salary 200. This one is my median. What I can talk about the median is 50% data is below median, 50% is data is above median. But data is where? Most of the data lies where? We can't say. If you have median, you can only talk about okay, 50% is below, 50% is above, but where is data? We don't know. Can we say? up to 3 to 10 means do we have what numbers the number could be anything near to median much below to the median or the zero we can't say which data we are talking about what data do we have but we know the median so first is the bottom to 25 salary 26 to median salary so this is the first bracket salary this is the 25th bracket salary and 25th to median so what is the line of this bracket that is nothing but the second graph top bracket is the median. So we can say the 14th lakh is the median of 2008. How comes 1 to 25 and 25 to median? That is a, we can say this line is the median. 24 lakhs is the median of 2008 salary. I hope this one is clear. So what we have to understand in this chart is first one. We can find the median because bottom to 25, if we talk about this one is the first salary bracket, this one is the 25th salary bracket and this one is up to median. So we can say 24 lakhs is the median in 2009. Can you guess what is the median of 2011? Okay, yeah, that's that is the first salary bracket to 25th salary bracket and 24th to median. This line is nothing but again the 14 lakhs is the median of 2011 salary. Now, can you tell me how many person is in between this bracket? That is what is the bracket is the 20 to 16 lakhs. 20 to 16 lakhs, how many people do we have? We can't say anything. Within the bracket, we can't say how many people do we have, but we can talk about the median. We can talk about the quartile. Below this, 25 people. Below this to this, 25 people. 
from here to here 25 people but we cannot talk about how many people in any of the segments within the quartile or below percentile or below median i hope this one is clear so we have learned only two things we can find the median we have all the median data that is the second above is the median data we cannot find the within the quartile how many people do we have for a certain range of the salary so we have two learnings from the chart because it's a histogram chart an area chart we cannot find the gap now I start solving question number one in which of the year where a maximum number of students offered salaries between 20 to 30 again we have data so chances are answer should be cannot be determined but cross check now we have to find from the 20 to 30 range can we say we have one bracket that is 25 and we have something extra we do not know what something extra because this is one bracket so in 2008 we have 25 plus something extra we don't know what is this something extra because it's within the bracket we have again 120 and 30 no complete quartile how can we say we have one quartile completed here and something extra this data is within the quartile we don't know this data is within the quartile we don't know so 2009 we do not have anything in our hand 2010 we have one data within the quartile one complete quartile data within quartile so we can only say we have 25 plus something extra because within quartile we can't guess which data should we take how many number of the boys we have in this data we can only say there are 25 boys within this salary range and within the quartile how many we can't say might be the all boys should be above the this all boys within this only one boys at the position now 2010 we got 2012 if we have 2012 one quartile and this okay we have again one complete quartile then some data so we can say only 25 plus some values we do not know which values we should take how many values we should take so we have again some indeterminate values so answer of this question is cannot be determined many of the question setters or the examination many of the institutes said the answer is 2010 because we have one complete quartile and two more brackets but believe me we do not have the complete quartile except this quartile so we can't say anything if we have two complete quartile that means 25 plus 25 could be 50 but we have one quartile and the part of the quartile and the part of the quartile two part of the quartile can never be a complete quartile so within the quartile we can't say anything so the answer of question number one according to me is cannot be determined i hope this one is clear within quartile we can't say anything i hope this one is clear now solve question number two identify the year in which the annual median salary is higher by at least 60 percent of the average year of the preceding years annual median salary is higher than at least 60 percent say 2009 the annual median salary is 24 lakh i hope this one is okay annual median salary is 24 lakhs so is 24 lakhs is 60 percent more than the 17 lakhs we can do just eg calculation that is nothing but 17 into 1.6 and this one is 27.2 so no this one is not the higher one so 2009 is not the answer check so we can say this one is not the answer 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 so only option left is a 2002 and 2014 which we do not need to check so the question number two answer is second we just cross check 2009 which is not our answer according to the question so option number so option number second is our answer again an easy question now solve question number three identify the number of years in which the difference between the average salary of top 25 percent average salary of top 25 percent and bottom 25 percent is more than 20 lakhs again we have a quartile we don't know where is the data so we can't say what would be the average but our average should be between this 25 to 30 the bottom average is from 0 to 8 so what is the difference we can't say what is the difference so we can't say anything about the 2008 
but yes if we talk all in the 25 26 27 27 and this one is nothing but 9 gap is 18 we want gap more than 20 lakhs so this again 208 is not in the our answer sheet 2009 assume the worst situation the median is the bottom line that is nothing just above the bottom line say 32 is the median sorry 32 is the mean of the above one the worst situation and here the best situation that is the near to 10 assume the approx 10 so gap is 22 the gap is 22 okay 2009 could be one value definitely one value but we can't say this one is not so again more than identify number of years which is the difference between we cannot again find because here we do not know what would be the value here we do not know here we can definitely say 2009 if the question would be definitely we can say we assume 2009 but here the question is in which years or in how many years the gap is 20 lakhs we cannot say more than 20 lakhs in 2009 definitely it's more than 20 lakhs 2008 could be more than or could not be more than say 2010 i'm again thinking the worst in the above because if you want to find a difference take the worst in the bigger and the best in the smaller value okay so again we have 25 here we have 10 again we can't say anything about the 10 so 10 is out 2011 that is uh, near to 24 above so can't be we can't say anything could be or could not be here we have 27 here we have again we can't say anything so in this we can't say anything here the gap is again here if we check this one is 37 and this one is 15 so 22 this could be one value definitely so we have only two years 2009 and 2014 in which we can definitely say this gap would be more than 20 lakhs but here the question is word is not that definitely we can say the question is identify the number of years in which the difference between the average salary of this bottom is more than we can't say anything answer of this should be cannot be determined which is not in the option but if the question was we can definitely say in how many years this gap is more than 20 lakhs then answer should be 2 but here the question is not definitely so the answer is cannot be determined and this question was withdrawn by XRI after the chat because the word definitely was missing. I hope this one is clear. Even if you have any doubt, I would say please feel free to ping me. Tomorrow you have chat or anyway you are taking chat in 2019. If you have any doubt in these type of data, please ping me either on the YouTube or on the Facebook. Okay. Now solve the last question, question number. Okay friends, let's solve the last question of this DI set, question number four, which has too much calculation. The question is if the average salary is compounded excluding student with no offers here the average salaries are with a student with zero offers now if we exclude the zero offers the numbers of the zero offers are given in the below chart then we get the new mean and the question is then the new mean be greater than the existing median salary in how many years the new mean is greater than the existing median here the new mean in this data is nothing but we have 15 so this would be 16 or 17 assume this one the mean is the 16 just take the 16 value that is we have 15 16 17 take this one is a 17 this value as a 17 our median is somewhere here if we remove a below 17 data means below average data if we remove the below average data new average would increase so definitely our new mean would be more than the given median in 2008 so 2008 is the one such year for 2009 our mean is nothing but 17 that means this line is the 15th line than 16 than 17 that is 17 is our old mean sorry that is 17 is the old mean uh, we have for the 2009 data 17 is the old mean and the total 100 students were there so this is the total salary and in the 2009, we have five zero offers. So if we remove the five zero offers, the remaining, the total salary remains unchanged, but the numbers becomes 95. So that is the total divided by 95, that is 1700 divided by 95 becomes 17.89.
the new mean is the 17.89 but median is above 17.89 so 2009 is not such value if we have 18 for the 2010 then the total becomes 1800 and how many value do we have 20 with the zero offers so we have 80 students with some offers so the average of all the offers this is nothing but 22.5 and if I am not wrong, 22, the median is 22. So 22.5 is above the median value. Our new mean is above the median value. So we have 2010 as one such value. Similarly, we have to solve every one. Just take, I am solving this for the 2015. 2015, the mean could be somewhere like uh, 15. So 2015, the 15 is the mean in 200 divided by 98 even we solve it would not cross our median value so 215 is not such value by this we solve all the values and we find there are only three years 2008 2010 and 2013 where our new mean is above our median value so answer of this question this one has a lot of calculation we have to check for almost all the value or observe for the all values here we cannot get, here the gap is too much, we cannot get, here we can get, we have to check, here we could get, we have to check, we have to check. So we have only 208, 10 and 13 data where the new mean is more than the our given median. I hope this one is clear. So we solved four things. You have to understand within the quartile or gap data, we cannot get the frequency, we cannot get the number of the students. This is one of the most important learning of this concept video. Even if you have any doubt, feel free to ping me either on this YouTube video thread or on Facebook. Okay. I hope this one is clear to you. Thanks and happy learning and bye-bye.